Hello, good morning or good afternoon or uh, good evening kung kailan niyo man na, napanood ito, mapapanood ito. But hopefully ma ma send ko sinyo ito at the right time. But first of all, um, I understand that uh, you all uh, may be confused kung anong uh, ganap sa buhay ko or ganap sa subject ko. Um, but as what I've mentioned with your president, I'll try to make my subject as, as simpler as possible kasi um, I have to understand I'm in the transitional stage right now. And um, uh, sad to say, hindi pa rin ano, uh, available ang uh, replacement ko. But that's okay. I'm, I'll gladly do this kung kailangan. At... Uh, Ayoko rin naman na bigyan kayo ng basta-basta na, na activity kung hindi ko naman ito na na-discuss. Yan. As what you've noticed no sa mga nakadaang mga nagdaang mga activities natin, hindi ko naman binibigay yung basta-basta kung wala naman tong um, discussion sa akin, okay? Kung hindi ko man na-discuss, patawarin niyo ako kasi una uh, sobrang uh, busy ko pangalawa I was also experiencing technical difficulty sa end ko. So, so sad nga lang. Siyempre, lahat ng mga ito, um, ano ko lang to, Kumbaga, provided ko lang lahat ng ito, siyempre. And, ayun, hindi rin naman talaga nagagawa ng current gadget ko ngayon to pace with the current needs ng ng school. So kung pwede nga lang mag face to face, mag face to face na lang tayo kasi I'll be happy to to do that. And uh, hopefully no, sana nga in the future or as soon as next year mag go back na tayo sa ano sa face to face kung posible pa siya. But yun nga siguro kailangan ko muna ng i-equip ang sarili ko uh, technically and also strategically kasi um, alam ko marami akong kailangan pang ituro sa sarili ko pagdating sa new trend ng online teaching. But anyway, um, sa principle ko rin naman, hindi naman ako magtuturo ng isang bagay na hindi ko or hindi ko ibibigay sa inyo kung hindi ko na ituro. And it has always been my my principle even before. Hindi ko inaalaw na mag undergo kaya ng mga exam or quiz ng hindi ko siya na touch base. Okay. So for now, uh, we'll basically just continue from where we last left off, and it is about before we were or the last discussion that we had was about the NAA awards and you guys have shared your your content sa Google site natin or dun sa e-portfolio and uh, thank you for those who were able to submit their work on time and even you sa mga umabol so salamat um, but right now we are going to discuss about the next Award giving body na ating tatalakayan for today. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen. And na share ko na ang isang uh, ano sa inyo, yung isang PDF file about sa gawad sa manilika ng bayan. In English, the National Living Treasures Award which was institutionalized through Republic Act number 7355. Okay. Ano nga ba ang gawad sa manlikha ng bayan? Okay. Gamaba Award. It is the search for the finest traditional artists of the land. Finest daw. So, ang tin tinitingnan dito yung pinaka-traditional na, na paggawa o paglikha ng sining no, ng mga kilalang 
artist sa ating bayan. Gamaba Award adopts a program that will ensure the transfer of their skills to others. Okay. Para sa continuity ng kanilang kultura or ang kanilang mga skill na gusto nilang i-transfer no from one generation to an to other to another uh, pangatlong bullet point for Gamaba Award is it undertakes measures to promote a genuine appreciation of traditional craft and art and uh, number four, ano ba bang purpose ng Gamaba Award is to instill pride among our people about the skill of the Manilika ng bayan. Kaya nga, di ba, if you can remember, just this year, no, naging usap-usapan yung pagkakaroon ng issue ni Nas Daily. No? Dahil, kumbaga parang nagamit ang ating isang isa at isang ating uh, kabayan no hindi na communicate ng maayos yung yung kahalagahan ng ating kultura at at ila ito ay nagamit sa uh, sa more for monetary reasons okay but i believe naman yung Nas Daily in their part has genuine appreciation naman dun sa ating ano ating uh, ano yung artist no na nag uh, nag um, tatato no sa sa ating sa katawan okay so um but i think that was already resolved and yung nas daily ginawa naman nila yung part nila para hindi naman nila tapakan ang kultura or mugmukhang tinapakan ang kultura ng ating kababayan no so Ano ba ang qualification para ang isang traditional artist ay mapabilang sa Gama Ba Awardees? Okay. Number one, he or she or they, they kasi group, is an inhabitant of an indigenous traditional cultural community anywhere in the Philippines that has preserved indigenous customs, beliefs, rituals, and traditions and or has seen Criticized whatever external elements that have influenced it. Okay. So, uh, kailangan, o yun, isang napaka unang qualification or qualification no, para ikaw mapabilang dito is mem membro ka, no, or you are an inhabitant of an indigenous traditional cultural community anywhere here in the Philippines. Okay. Pangalawa, you must have engaged in a folk art tradition that has been in existence and documented for at least 50 years. Okay. So, pag 49 years, hindi, no? Well, siguro, depende, no? Uh, kung kailan to ginaganap. Basta, as long as the culture or the folk art tradition should have at least 50 years, no? Siguro, kunari, 49 ngayon, okay? Next year, yan. That, that particular group or person will now be a uh, Gamaba awardee. Okay. Patlo, he or she or this group must have consistently performed or produced over a significant period works of superior and distinctive quality. No? Kailangan pineperform lagi. No? At hindi lang to parang once in a lifetime uh, or parang ang approach is historical na lang dahil hindi na siya nakikita sa iba't ibang parte. Kailangan na pe-perform pa rin hanggang pasa ngayon. Okay? Kasi diba, if you can remember the definition ng gamaba is yung pag-transfer nito no, from one generation to another. Okay? So, um, yun yung of course kasi one of the reasons why there is gamaba award. Now, the fourth one is he or she or the group must possess a mastery of tools and materials needed by the art and must have an established reputation in the art as master and maker of works of extraordinary technical quality. So wait lang. So again, he or she or the group must possess a mastery of tools and materials needed by the art. Okay, of course. Ilangan may pakita yung kanyang 
pagiging uh, pagiging mahusay no ang kanyang exp- expertise sa larang kanyang uh, pinapakita okay at may magandang reputasyon pagdating sa sining no as master and maker of works okay and uh, panglima he or she or the group must have passed on or will pass on to other members of the community their skills in the folk art for which the community is traditionally known. Okay, so kailangan na ipapasa, no? na ipakita or na, na, na gagawa ito ng uh, susunod na henerasyon. So, kaya siya, he, she, or group kasi can be a single person or a group of uh, tribe no? na na ipakita ang kanilang talento ang kanilang sining at ipasa ito sa kanilang mga nasasakupan okay para hindi mamatay of course ang kultura ayan so in your book na no, may mga samples na rin doon ng mga Gamaba awardees no but i took the liberty to also uh, look in the internet no kung ano ang ang iba pang mga Gamaba awardees no with their pictures okay. para at least maging familiar tayo isa-isa no So in 1993 we have Ginaw Bilog. He is a Hanonu Mangyan of Mansalay Oriental Mindoro. He was awarded for faithfully preserving the Hanuno Mangyan script and Ambahan poetry. He has promoted the local strip, script and poetry so that the art will not be lost but preserved for posterity. So, siya ay si Ginaw Bilog. Ayan. So, kung ito ay na-re-recognize nyo, no? mukhang ito ay, if I'm not mistaken, para siyang alibata. No? O, oh, alibata siya. Si Masino Intaray, a Palawan Brooks Point, from Brooks Point, Palawan. He was awarded for his exemplary skills in basal or gong music ensemble. He was also recognized for his versatility as musician, poet, epic chanter, and storyteller of the Kulilal and Bagit traditions of the Palawan. Again, siya ay si Masino in Taray. Okay. Sa libro kasi kulang ang uh, mga ano eh, uh, pinapakita lang doon yung pangalan nila, pero ito, yan, may mga kuwa sila. No? Si Samuan Sulaiman, a Maguindanawan, okay? Sa Mama Sapano, Maguindanao. Okay? So, alam naman natin kung ano saan yung Mama Sapano, no? Uh, I think most of you are aware of what happened there, okay? But uh, this person is from Maguindanao. He was awarded for his outstanding artistry and dedication to his chosen instrument, the Maguindanao Kutyapi. Kutyapi is a two-stringed plucked lute regarded as one of the most technically demanding and difficult to master among Filipino traditional instruments. Wow, okay. So, mahirap. Uh, pero, na, ano siya, na-award din siya. I mean, to say, he was able to uh, master it and also pass it on to the next level or to the next generation. <clears throat> Yan. 1998, 1998 award is so, Silang Dulay, no? A Tiboli of Lake Cebu, South Cotabato, was awarded for weaving the abaca ikat cloth called Tnalak. She has produced creations which remain faithful to the Tiboli tradition as manifested in the complexity of her design, fineness of workmanship, and quality of finish. Okay, nakita niyo naman, pati yung kaniyang mga kasuotan, no? intricate. Okay, siya ay si Lang Dulay. Si Salinta Monon is a Tagabawa Bagobo of Bansalan, Davao del Sur. She was awarded for fully demonstrating the creative and expressive aspects of the Bagobo, Abaka, Ikat, weaving called Inabal at a time when such art is threatened with extinction. Okay, so without her, no, hindi ito makikilala ng mga susunod na henerasyon. Okay. Buti, 
sabi niya dito, she was awarded for fully demonstrating the creative and expressive aspects of the Bagobo Abaka ikat weaving called Inabal at a time when such art is threatened with extinction. Okay. So tingin nyo, no? marami, pa rin kaya, marami pa siguro tayong mga tradisyon na hindi pa natin alam ngayon. No? Or, or namatay na lang dahil hindi na inaipasa sa susunod na generasyon. Sana ano, na, na-preserve natin itong mga to. Ayan. Ulit, siya ay si Salinta Monon. Okay, what about in 2000? Ayan. Si Alonzo Saklag. Si Alonzo or Alonzo Saklag is a Kalinga of Lubuwagan, Kalinga, was awarded for his mastery of the Kalinga dance and the performing arts. Okay, so sa pagsasayaw naman ito. He was also recognized for his persistence to create and nurture a greater consciousness and appreciation of Kalinga culture among the Kalinga themselves and beyond their borders. Okay, so again, siya ay si Alonzo Saklag. Si Frederico Caballero, he is a Panay Bukidnon of Kalinog Iloilo and he was awarded for his mastery of chanting the Sugidanon, the epic tradition of Central Panay. He ceaselessly worked for the documentation of the epics of his people painstakingly. You know, talagang sinulat niya talagang... Um, Kumbaga, nung panahon nung ano no nung mga hari na nagsusulat ng mga ng ng Bible no nung in the past. Okay? Isa-isa nilang sinusulat lagi yan para ipasa yun. No? Siya ganoon ang ginagawa niya si Frederico Caballero. Okay? Kaya siya na awarded and of course, he was seen ceaselessly working for the documentation of the epics of his people, painstakingly piecing together the elements of this oral tradition nearly lost. Okay. So let's give thanks to Frederico Caballero. Okay. Parang ano no, medyo familiar ang ninyo talaga sa ano sa uh, ano arts, no? Mainstream arts. Okay. So si Uwang Ahadas, ayakan of Lamitan Basilan. He was awarded for his dexterity in playing yakan musical instruments such as the quintangan, gabang, agung, quintangan, kayu, tuntungan, among others. He has a deep knowledge of the aesthetic possibilities and social context of those instruments. In spite of the dimming of his eyesight, he has devoted his life to the teaching of yakan musical traditions. Okay, so without these people, just imagine, no, uh, those cultures and traditions or rituals that uh, that are, you know, only gonna be seen or shown here in the Philippines, no. Without these people, uh, ito mga traditions no, namatay na siguro, no. So, um, good thing we have this Gamaba Award, okay, na nagbibigay ng pag recognize sa mga uh, individual na ito. Okay. Yan. In 2005, we have Darahata Sawabi, a barangay Parang Holo Island in Sulu province. Now, that's in, in Mindanao. She has preserved the art of pisyabit weaving. Okay. So, iba't ibang klaseng weaving, no? Pero siya, tawag sa kanya, sa kanyang art is peace siabit. It is difficult art of tapestry weaving that creates the traditional squares used by Tausug for ornamentation. Despite the conflict in Holo, Sawabi's dedication to her art enhanced the preservation of traditional Tausug designs. Because you know naman kung ano nangyayari sa Holo, di ba? Uh, the, the war here and there, you know, it's inevitable in her time okay but um ano yung dedication niya no can be seen uh, by by enhancing this art no na meron or alam niya okay so ngayon no, uh, i'm sure no marami pa rin ang sumusunod sa yapak niya or naka naka adopt ng kanyang uh, sariling gawa no na piece shabit na 
type of weaving. Okay. Si Hadia Amina Api of Ungos, Matata, Tandubas, Tawi-Tawi. No? The last, no, mga taga Mindanao, no? um, mga talagang artist uh, by heart, no? by nature. She was recognized as the master mat weaver among the Sama indigenous community of Ungos, Matata. Her colorful mats with their complex geometric patterns exhibit her precise sense of design, proportion, and symmetry and sensitivity to color. Uh, yun. So, um, yun ang kanyang uh, ginawa naman. Geometric patterns exhibit her precise sense of design, proportion. So, uh, sana kung no, no, ano, no, I can look for the sample but i think um the sample designs by these individuals are available on the internet okay but just by the description themselves you know looking at it shows how intricate how delicate the design is okay proportion it's kind of hard to do if you are in a in um you know, uh, weaving uh, industry, diba? or weaving art um, pattern. Okay. Um, I, I know it involves mathematical, um, an, an perfect mathematical arrangement for geometric patterns, diba? So, kaya nakuha yung, yung desired look ng kanyang uh, kanyang Winnie Weave, no? Si Eduardo Mutuk, okay, siya naman ay, no, sa, from the North of no? He is a Kapampangan from Central Luzon. He was recognized for reviving the Spanish colonial era craft of Plateria, or Plateria. This self-taught master craftsman found his calling in producing what? Religious and secular art in silver, bronze, and wood. In doing so, and in his pursuit of perfection for himself and his apprentices, he assures the continuity of this rich tradition. Okay, so yun naman ang kanyang ano, no kanyang uh, ginagawa. Okay, buti siya na no? mayro siyang example here. Okay, so uh, yeah no. Okay, so that was just you know way of her of him reviving Spanish colonial. Era craft of Plateria. And so that's it. In your book, now there are uh, no, there are different um, uh, samples or from people who were given award. And some of uh, some of the names that were uh, on your study guide, I was able to mention here and. Uh, and uh, show the pictures, okay? Uh, our next topic will revolve around uh, the challenges the, the Philippines um, has encountered, you know, just preserving these work of art, traditional work of art, okay? Thank you. And uh, again, thank you so much for your patience and your, your uh, understanding. Um, well, I was not really um, expecting you to understand, but um, but again, uh, I thank you again for your time. I hope that you will watch this video and the, um, the presentation will be uh, made available to you sa um, Google Classroom, okay? And this video will be sent to you via link, okay? For now, the strategy is we're going to, I'm going to record myself so that you will be able to uh, follow through the, the topics that we have. Thank you again and have a good day. Enjoy your day and please stay safe as always.